और सबसे लंबा छलांग हम ही मार ऋतिक रोशन एंड मृणाल ठाकुर स्टार सुपर थर्टीन विच इज अन बेस्ड ऑन द लाइफ एंड वर्क ऑफ इंडियन मैथमेटिशियन अनंत कुमार who helps 30 under privileged students to prepare for iit has recently hit the theaters critics believe that either it is a fantastic performance from ritik roshan or the film polluted the aspects of actual events and character in the face of stardom and orthodox entertainment while some believe that the movie actually missed the point of a biopic whatever it is we'll find out so let's begin our journey to review super 30 Before rating the movie, let's review the movie itself. Let's look at its strengths and flaws. Flaws: Missing the point. A general intention of creators while making a biopic is to unfold some incidents and moments that describe the subject's struggle and their attitude and what it took him her to reach this level. Now, I am not opposing the movie showcasing political problems, but if it had done so, then it shouldn't be called a biopic, but more of a social awareness film, which Akshay Kumar is really fond of. To bring clear contrast, let's recall another biopic named MS Dhoni: The Untold Story. A biopic is traditionally made to tribute the subject character after a particular event that made the subject worthy of a biopic. Former Indian captain MS Dhoni became biopic worthy. after leading his team to win the cricket world cup 2011 one could simply observe that the entire movie was focused on how dhoni struggled his way to reach this level and not how he struggled to win the world cup while on the other hand super 30 focused on kumar's journey behind the success of a coach facing social and political problems but this isn't a real tribute since it didn't portray much of the personal and financial hurdles faced by kumar before this events A biopic is expected to be grounded and basic as possible since a little exaggeration might more or less hurt the image of character. Indeed, this movie has some needless melodrama and desi masala with lengthy run time of 2 hours and 42 minutes. In spite of being a biopic, it still contained a typical Bollywood item song in which even a teacher was dancing around. Also, There was a slight exaggeration in showing the political power in order to forcibly bring sympathy towards the lower section characters and 30 children. Second, paradox acting. First of all, I don't intend any offense or hate and I also respect the determination of Hrithik Roshan towards acting. But Hrithik Roshan didn't completely fit to the role emotionally as well as physically. He was putting so much efforts in making the character that he ended up being himself due to lack of spontaneity and poor body language. Also, his vocals and verbal expression didn't match the Bihari accent. His dialogue delivery seemed rehearsed and mugged up and was in constant throughout the movie. Even the futile brown makeup on his face changed tone from time to time. Now, it isn't the fault in acting of Hrithik Roshan, but more in his choice. This kind of character aren't made for urban fellas or Greek gods. An actor who might have correctly fitted the role would be Pankaj Tripathi. Undoubtedly, there is no flaw in his acting, but also he physically matched to Anand Kumar more than Hrithik Roshan. Also, we have seen his pure Bihari accent in his captivating performance in Gangs of Wasepo. Similar and predictable story. Audience expected to see some engaging drama and visuals based on the works of pure genius Anand Kumar but ended up seeing another typical Bollywood storyline a typical story which you already know before seeing since most of them is exposed in unnecessary songs and promos and even in the trailers the story follows the similar trend where in the beginning there is a slight comedy and a love tale with no special purpose to serve and then in the middle main character chooses the advice path and then suddenly realizes with a wake up call after that he sticks to righteousness persistently and then out of nowhere villain assaults him but due to god's love he is safe and then with courage and a lots of understanding he even changes the mind of villain in climax scene strengths solid supporting cast the only reason why indian public go for a predictable movie is due to compelling supporting cast with actors like pankaj tripathi same applies for super 30 supporting cast consisting of actors like pankaj tripathi virendra saxena amit sad and aditya shrivastava is what holds us into the movie 
Tripathi, like always playing a dark role, with this time being an corrupt education minister, is eye-catching. Virendra Saxena gave a heartfelt performance depicting Anand Kumar's father. Aditya Srivastava portraying money-craving businessman is fascinating to watch. And Amit Saad and the children perfectly suited to their roles. Second, bringing local life in focus. A particular scene in a movie which has led a special influence on public is a sequence when the Cambridge letters become a wrapping paper to sell papers. This specific movement did two things indirectly. Firstly, it implied that Kumar has rejected the request and second is awareing us that it is a local life. Vikas Behel had a special idea of representing locals in Bihar and he executed in the best way possible. Right from clothing and fashion to people's accent, the roads, the shelter, cycles, auto rickshaw and environment, everything correctly represented local life in Bihar. The film one way or another insinuated that education is a fundamental right for everyone, maybe it is a son of postman or a child from upper section or lower section. Raja vahi banenga jo hagdar honga. So that's all for the review. Now let's rate the movie. Acting 85% Direction 80% Soundtrack 65% Dialogues 70% Overall movie 7.6 out of 10 So that's all for today guys. If you agree with me then please subscribe to my channel and share it among your friends. And if not then comment down below your own opinions.